there was one time where animation in Plasma were so slow for one month, just one month, and it was actually done on purpose. It was not a bug. You would expect me to have somebody to blame for this, but actually I can't try to really blame anybody. This was actually introduced by a patch by Nate, who also wrote a very useful blog post explaining all of the situation. And the issue really arises from different release schedules in KD Plasma and KD Frameworks. So I'm also going to address that. And actually, let me start from that because I also talked about this in this morning podcast, Linux Daily. So. This is the patch that I'm talking about. You can see that it is to Plasma Framework. So let's start with a bit of context. What is Plasma Framework? And in general, KDE has the KDE Frameworks, which are which is, are all of the libraries which um, KDE applications and KDE Plasma use to implement a variety of stuff, which is not uh, directly implemented in KDE Plasma and the KDE apps, but since uh, it is used in many apps or um, also KDE Plasma, it is separated into a framework. And it is like a set of libraries that expand on the functions of Qt. So one of the things that Plasma Framework does, as an example, is it has the Plasma theme, the one that defines the um, appearance of actually the panel, the applets, and this kind of stuff. So it's pretty important. Plasma Framework is one of the KD frameworks, and it is the framework that actually contains the Plasma theme, obviously. Also, there's a difference to be explained. There's Plasma and there's Kurigami. So what is Kurigami very quickly? It is um, a library to make applications that are convergent. So you can use them on mobile, but you can also develop for application on desktop. As an example, um, system settings it is partly um, Kurigami. Um, Discover is Kurigami and so on. Many new uh, KDE applications are done with Kurigami. Now, Lastly, let's talk about animations. So animation are defined, uh, animation speed is something that you can actually control. You can make it faster and slower. And in general, KDE has some set animation lengths that are used as a reference. As an example, a long animation should always last, I don't know, one second and a half. Just an example, I don't actually remember the exact time but it has a set time for short animations, very short animations, medium animations, long animations, and very long animations. And we have um, some milliseconds to describe all of them. Now, this is implemented both in Kurigami, because apps need, you know, animations. It's also implemented in the Plasma framework, so that all applications that, that use this Plasma framework can define animations, and as, as an example, Plasma shell, everything in Plasma shell going from the animation that actually opens up kickoff as an example, the uh, length of the animation is based on this base unit, which is medium animation, long animation. I don't remember which one exactly. Okay, so this is the context. So where does the issue start off? Well, it starts off when people realized, Nate realized, um, I, I guess somebody realized, but, but I mean, Nate realized that the Kurigami uh, units and the plasma units for the animation lengths were different. <laughs> a short animation in Kurigami was different compared to a short animation in plasma. A uh, long animation in Kurigami was different. And the plasma animations were actually, the baselines for the plasma animations were actually very, very fast. The short one, I think it was like 24 milliseconds, which is way too few, you don't even see it. So every time that you actually did an animation in the plasma desktop, you would say, okay, take uh, a short animation time, the baseline, multiply it by 10 so that you can actually see it. That is a very bad way to approach things, obviously. And it doesn't really make sense to have very short uh, baselines if you always multiply them for some constant. So what's the idea? The obvious fix is to make sure that Kurigami and Plasma um, animation times are the same, the baselines. And you also need to remove all of the multiplied by five uh, occurrences in, in the code. So that's just what's done. Uh, this is the um, patch that actually makes uh, the animations length just the one that are in Kurigami. And um, it, it's a very simple patch. It also introduces the very long duration, which was in Kurigami, but not in the Plasma framework yet. So simple patch. Where's the issue? <laughs> There's quite some issue. This is because Plasma framework is a KDE framework and the appearances of um, the application that actually used the Plasma framework uh, baseline times 
to define their animation times. We're not in the KD framework, but we're KD apps and mostly KD Plasma. When is KD Plasma released? Every four months. KD frameworks, uh, KD frameworks sorry, is released more often because uh, you know it's the frameworks, everybody uses them. It has to be very often. And it's uh, released at a different time compared to KD Plasma. Be because <laughs> why, why is that? Well, uh, it's because KD frameworks are not meant for KD Plasma. Like they're not designed around KD Plasma. They're designed for any apps, even third party apps that want to use them. So it's not necessarily related to KD Plasma uh, schedule. So this means that this was actually shipped, you see here in the blog post, in KD frameworks. 5.70, which was a month before Plasma 5.18. Now you might start to see the issue. The changes that actually made the animations much longer are in Plasma framework. The changes that remove the multiplied by five in the code every time we use a Plasma animation um, baseline are in KD Plasma, which is released one month after the KD frameworks, which means that during that month, there is this change in that makes the animation longer, but we don't yet have all the, the changes that remove the multiplied by n uh, constant, which means that they're super long. And uh, okay, this could have been addressed in a couple of ways. One of which um, they're very nicely explained here, by the way, if you want to read the blog post as well, but the major thing that uh, could have been done is instead of shipping in KD Frameworks 5.70, we could have shipped them in KD Frameworks 5.71, which was uh, just a few days before KD Plasma 5.18, which means, yes, you still have a few days of Plasma being slow, but just a few days, right? What's the issue? Well, we have no guarantee that Plasma 5.18 depended on uh, KD Frameworks 5.71 in all distros. There could be some distro that decides to package KD Frameworks 5.70 with uh, KD Plasma 5.18 and not KD Frameworks 5.71. And we, it, it's not an our dependency, so we couldn't guarantee that KD Frameworks 5.71 would be in all distros that have Plasma 5.18. Uh, whereas KD Frameworks 5.70 was for sure in all distros with Plasma 5.18. So KD Frameworks 5.70 it is, and there's also really no way in QML, because all of this is QML, uh, to actually check which version of the KD Frameworks you are in and, you know, change the, or uh, the opposite for the KD Frameworks to check what version of Plasma and change, make the animation slower for, um, shorter for Plasma so that it's not slower. No way to do that either, which means that we just <laughs> KD just had to accept the fact that it was going to be very slow for one month between the release of KD Frameworks, which fixes uh, the animation times, and the release of Plasma 18, which actually uses the correct animation times. And that's really it. And one thing that I want to say is that congrats to stuff like Arc, which actually made a patch for Plasma Workspace to quickly fix that because the fix was already present in Plasma Workspace, which is the KDE Plasma related repository, but you know, it was going to be released with Plasma 5.18, which is one month later. But Arc quickly took that patch and um, gave it immediately. That was very nice of them. And also, this is not the only time that something like this has happened. Many times, every time there's something in KDE Plasma and KDE Frameworks that has to happen at the same time, we just can't guarantee that which means that if there's uh, appearance change, well, that's usually in KD Frameworks for KD Plasma because uh, the Plasma theme in, is in uh, KD Plasma. And if you need something in, K in a KD, KD Frameworks, sorry, and if you need something KD Plasma to be sure that you have the newest frameworks, well, you're just going to have to ship that in the next release after the frameworks. And there's always a time between the release of the frame frameworks and of Plasma and we, we just can't avoid that. It also happens uh, the other way around. You should always wait for the next release of, of the frameworks after a KD Plasma update um, to be sure that everything <laughs> is there. Uh, I mean, it's not necessary. Usually it's in stuff uh, frameworks releases before KD Plasma, but still uh, it has happened in the past that some change that was meant for a KD Plasma release got into the following KD frameworks one. So this is really weird. 
one way to fix this would be to align KD frameworks to KD Plasma, but that's not a path that apparently wants to be go through. Um, developer doesn't seem to want that. I don't know why I, I'm not an expert in these things. You could make this move some stuff from the Plasma framework to KD Plasma, like the Plasma theme. Again, that has its own issues as the Plasma theme is used not just by the Plasma desktop, but also Plasma mobile, uh, big screen and uh, applets, th these kind of things. They all use the Plasma theme, so it makes sense to for that. So it is kind of a complex issue to address. And in this case, right now, the only solution is to accept that some <laughs> sometimes <laughs> when there's a change that requires both changes from KDE Plasma framework and Plasma desktop, we're going to have that one month of awkwardness.